Welcome to iLecture Online. We've been asked by some of our viewers if we could make a video that would describe how the equations were derived to do the delta to y conversions. Whenever we see a circuit that has a delta in it like that with resistors, it's actually quite difficult to try to figure out the equivalent resistance. It's easier to convert it into a delta structure, or I should say into a y structure, that makes it a lot easier to calculate the resistance of that circuit. So how did we come up, or how did they derive the equations of that conversion? So what we're going to do here is recognize that when we have a delta circuit like this, we have three points, one, two, and three, and three resistors, RA, RB, and RC. We then want to have an equivalent resistance circuit with the same points, one, two, and three, but instead of having a delta in there, we have a Y circuit with resistors one, two, and three. So how do resistors 1, 2, and 3 relate to resistors A, B, and C? Well, what we can do here is we can calculate the equivalent resistance from 1 to 2, from 1 to 3, and from 2 to 3 in this circuit, and we'll do the same over here. What is the resistance from 1 to 2, from 1 to 3, and from 2 to 3? Now, on the right side, that makes it pretty easy. There's only one path from 1 to 2, so the total resistance for 1 to 2 is simply the sum of those two resistors. Same from 1 to 3, and same from 2 to 3. So those are very easy equations. But how do we calculate the resistance from 1 to 2? Well, there are two paths, and they're parallel to one another. We can go through resistor A, or we can go through resistor B and C. So when, whenever we have a parallel circuit to find the equivalent resistance, we use the product over the sum. So we multiply resistance A times the sum of B and C, divided by the sum of the three, RA plus RB plus RC. We do the same from going from 1 to 3. That would be resistor B multiplied by the resistance going through this path. So B times RA plus RC divided by the sum. And between 2 and 3, we multiply the resistance C by the sum of A and B divided by the sum of the 3. Now what we can see is this. This resistance should equal this. This resistance should equal this. And this resistance should equal this. Otherwise, the, y to the, the delta to y conversion cannot be correct. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So we're going to have R1 plus R2 must equal the resistance from 1 to 2 in this circuit must equal the resistance from 1 to 2 in this circuit. So let's multiply that out. So we have Ra times Rb plus Ra times Rc divided by the sum of that. So that would be Ra plus Rb plus Rc. We do the same for the second uh, set. So from R1 to 3, that would be R1 plus R3 must equal this combination, which is Ra times Rb. Let's multiply these two together. Plus Rb times Rc, all divided by the denominator, Ra plus Rb plus RC. And finally, for the third combination here, this should equal this. So therefore, we can say that R2 plus R3 must equal R8 times RC plus RB times RC. All divided by the denominator, RA plus RB plus RC. Now the next step is the trick. What we're going to do is we're going to add these two together and subtract this one. And then we're going to do the same on the right side. So what we can say here is that on the left side, we can say that R1 plus R2 added to R1 plus R3 and subtract from that R2 minus R3. So well, we subtract both of those. That must equal the sum of those, which would be Ra plus, oop, not plus, that will be Ra times Rb plus Ra times Rc plus Ra times Rb plus Rb times Rc minus these here, which would be Ra Rc minus Rb Rc. And all that is over a common denominator of Ra plus 
RB plus RC. All right, so what do we have on the left side? We have two R1s, that, that gives us two times R1. We have an R2 here and a minus R2, so the R2s cancel out. We have an R3 and a minus R3, the R3s cancel out, so we simply have two times R1 on the left side equals. Now here in the numerator, we have an RA times RC and a minus RC times RC, so those cancel out. We have an RBRC and an RBRC, so those cancel out. So that means on the, on the right side, we have two times RA, RB divided by RA plus RB plus RC. And finally, when we divide both sides by two, we can say that R1 is equal to the product of RA times RB divided by the sum of all the resistors, RA plus RB plus RC. And so that's how you find resistor R1. Because we're out of board space, let's do a second uh, video so we can show you how to find R2 and R3 as well. The trick will be the same, we'll just have to recombine them differently. But at least that's the approach we take to find the equations that allow us to go from a delta to, uh, from a, delta to a y conversion. And that's how it's done.